Hey guys, Tanav here. I'm back from a very long break of school, and I think I'm going to do a simple video to teach you guys some coding and math. So, I'm sure you guys may have seen this before. I'm going to put a picture up. If you have, you may have seen it in like a movie where it's displayed as the high-tech physics stuff. Well, it's actually kind of simple though. This is what we have. Sigma notation. The bottom number here, this is our variable. Essentially, we're creating a for loop. This is our variable, which we create. It'll set it to 1. This is what number we're going to. And this is the instructions. I'll show you how to solve a problem like this. Here, as big as possible. Can I adjust the text size? Uh... Yeah. Let's give it here for now. So what we're going to do is, let's say we have two k minus 1 is our equation. What you do is you substitute the k with whatever the k value is. So right now it's 1. So 2 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 1 minus 1 equals... 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1. Let's go again. 2k minus 1 equals 2 times 2 minus 1, which equals 4 minus 1, which is 3. 2k minus 1... We don't need to type the equation, let's not do that. 2 times 3 minus 1 equals 6 minus 1, which is 5. 2 times 4 minus 1 equals 8 minus 1, which is 7. And then lastly, 2 times 5 minus 1 equals 10 minus 1, which is 9. As you can see, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. You may be wondering what we do with all these numbers, but we actually add them up. That's what sig sigma notation or sum summation notation means. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. That will give us, let's see, 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 9 is 18 plus, let's see, uh, 7, yeah, 18 plus 2 plus 5 is 25. This, this here is our answer. And now it's all simple enough, which is why I decided to teach you how to make this in code, since it's, it's a fairly simple coding operation. It's basically just an if, a for loop. So here we are in REPL.it. It's a wonderful IDE that's web-based, so you can take it on the go, but program in almost any language. I'm not sponsored or anything, I'm just suggesting it since it's a helpful resource for students like me. Uh, we're going to write a simple for loop in Python. So first up we're going to need is the k variable. So to declare a variable in Python, you just write the name and then equal and then whatever value. We're going to set it to 1 for now because that's what it was before. Then we're also going to need a total variable to add them all up and store them. So total equals 0 because we don't, we don't want it to have any values to begin with. Now we write the for loop. To write a for loop in Python, you write for as in any other programming language, but instead of writing for like in Java, it's int i equals 0. We don't do that here. We just do for x in range 5. Simple as that. Semicolon, enter. And now we do our, our stuff. So if you noticed what I did before, the k value comes after. You change the k value after you do the first operation. So that means the operation total equal total plus equals. And then we're going to add the 2 times k minus 1, then we change k, as in k equals k plus 1, and then finally we print out total. Sometimes the order is extremely important, such as here. Occasionally you might have to change k beforehand, but if you're taking AP CSA or AP Computer Science A or any classes like that, many of the tests will feature questions like that. Running it, 25. There we go. So I'm just going to use the same slide I used from the last video. A uh, quick note, I completely forgot to keep the file, so I screenshotted this from my last video. Whoops. Oh well, bye.